Thank you for joining us for Pet Connect. I'm Tara Douglas. I'd like to start today's segment with a special thank you to the community, to Feral Dogs of Avondale Mill and all of the volunteers that came out to walk dogs at the shelter on, this, on Saturday. They were able to get 45 dogs out of the shelter to walk and get some fresh air. So that means there's 45 dogs there at the Silicaga Animal Shelter that um, had a much better day than anticipated when they woke up Saturday morning. And with that said, one of those dogs that we're able to take out on a walk, his name is Hawkeye. There's, there he is right there. He is one of the, the most unique looking dogs I've ever seen. He is less than a year old and he is at the Silicaga Animal Shelter and available for adoption. My sister-in-law was the one who took him out for a walk and she said that he did really good on his walk. He, you know, none of these dogs are necessarily leash trained, but he did great and she enjoyed having him out there. And he is a very sweet dog and you know, most of those dogs there at the shelter are sweet. That's one thing that I had one of the dog walkers made a comment this week. She had never been out to the shelter and she said that she had no idea that, that these dogs would be as sweet as they are, that she just had in her mind that shelter dogs would be bad for some reason. But we had a great time with all 45 of those dogs and didn't have a single problem. These are all very sweet dogs. They're not at the shelter because of something that they did. They're at the shelter because of something that people did. And another comment I had, you know, we have this very unique dog that we're showing right now, but there are a lot of beautiful dogs there at the shelter. I had a comment that someone saw the pictures on Facebook and they were very surprised that we had so many um, unique, pretty dogs at our shelter. You know, again, in his mind, he thought we would have a bunch of, um, of stray looking dogs that didn't look healthy and didn't look good. And so, you know, we hope that everyone in the community will go to the, the Silicaga Animal Shelter Facebook page and go to the photos section because Terry Brooks with Feral Dogs of Avondale Mill, she's out every Saturday taking pictures of these dogs and posting the pictures of the available dogs. And go to the Facebook page, look at those dogs, and you'll see that we have so many beautiful dogs at the shelter, everything from puppies to adult dogs, all different breeds and all different sizes. So if you're looking for a dog, please look at the shelter first. And we're getting together again this Saturday to walk the dogs. So we'll be out there again at 11 a.m. because we, even though we did 45 dogs, there's still a lot of dogs that weren't able to get out of their kennels. So we're going to, to start again on Saturday and hopefully keep this up. So um, please come out as community and help us at the Silicaga Animal Shelter. We also have our $25 spay and neuter voucher sale this coming up on December 3rd. It's gonna be 9 a.m. to noon and held at PetSense. Uh, the Feral Dogs of Avondale Mill, they raise money throughout the year to help, uh, help give these spay and neuter vouchers. So um, they have limited number. If you do want one of those, then head out to PetSense Saturday morning on the 3rd and um, get that spay and neuter voucher because hopefully as a community we can start spaying and neutering our, our dogs and cats so that we don't have these problems. And the Feral Dogs of Avondale Mill, they're certainly here to help with that. Now, we need to get on to our next guest. We have area high school student. She's a junior at Fayetteville High School. We have Kat Holly here with us today. Thank you for having me. Well, we're so glad that you were able to come onto the show. So tell our viewers a little bit about who you are. Well, I'm a junior at Fayetteville, like you said, and I'm on the school softball and basketball team. Uh, my parents are Lee and Wade Holly. Uh, Mom actually teaches at Fayetteville. Okay. And after I graduate, I want to be a pilot. Okay, well that's great. So you're a junior right now, and yes, we're we're in basketball season, correct? Yes, ma'am. How's basketball coming along? Uh, we're two and two right now. Okay. So we've struggled in the past, but we are doing a little bit better this year. So I think there's some hope for us to maybe get out of the area. So. Good. That's great. So just keep working hard at it. Now you have uh, an aunt that does fostering for feral dogs. She yes, actually fostered one of our kittens that we have. Yes, so I know that you are around animals and around the animal community, but you have two dogs of your own. Yes, ma'am. So tell us about, about your dogs. I have Sadie and Josie. They're okay. both the German short-haired pointers okay. and they are, they're a little wild because they're puppies, but they're really sweet. Okay. They, and you said, are they both, how old are they? Uh, they're one's two and one's three. Okay. And so they, they do have a lot of puppy in them yeah. at that age, which we were discovering walking dogs at the shelter that a lot of these, these dogs, they're so happy to be out. They're going to pull you, drag you around the world, but have the best time doing it. Right. And now you uh, tell us a little bit about both dogs. So. so Sadie is, she's like white with the black spots all over mm -hmm. and she's more of a lap dog. She thinks she's a 
baby, but she's like 65 pounds. <laughs> she's big. And then Josie is, she's very petite. She's only like 40 pounds and she is wide open all the time. So, yeah. so do you have any other interests besides the sports that you play and the, uh, the fact that you're going to be a pilot someday? I really enjoy working out. That's like my main thing. It's okay. my way to relax and take my mind off of things. Okay, so what kind of what kind of workouts do you like to do? Uh, I've gotten into like lifting okay. heavier weight a lot okay. recently and then I like to mix in some cardio every now and then. Typically that's some sort of basketball. Okay, but I bet you get a lot of cardio with basketball. Oh yeah. Probably it's more so than softball. More than I want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to run back and forth on that court quite a bit. Oh yeah. So you've got to have your cardio ready for that. <laughs> yep. Now, we are having you on the show because we definitely want to encourage young people to get more involved in the community. And of course, while you're in high school, you have quite a bit of opportunity to do that. So tell us about some of the clubs that you participate in. Um, I'm in the school's beta club. Um, I just got inducted to that actually about two weeks ago. Okay, great. I'm in Key Club, and we do a lot with Key Club, like the Senior Citizen Social, that's coming up, I think maybe in two weeks okay. and it's just a way for some of the community to come and get meals for like Christmas or Thanksgiving okay. if they don't have people to supply it and then I'm also part of the diplomat program with the chamber and okay. that's just a great way I've gotten to meet a lot of people through that and make some new friends around here. Now where are they having the senior citizen social do you know where that's going to be with Key Club? Usually it's at the school, but I'm not sure if they're going to do it there this year, but it should be at the school at Fayetteville. Okay. So. And you've you've told me that you have other things that, is it Key Club that does the Earth Day events at the yes. school and the canned food drive? So yes. tell me a little bit about what that's been like in the past years. So on Earth Day last year we had a bunch of people come in from like the McWayne Center okay. and the little kids loved it because they bought animals I and bet. so we just mentored them and walked them around to the different stations and it was really fun. And then the canned food drive, we try to make it like a competition for the grades almost. Okay. So it's like what grade's going to win and if you bring the most canned food you get a reward and it's really fun. That's so. great. When you get the competitive nature of oh, everyone yeah. involved then that's everyone when you can. Everyone wants to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get people to compete to see how many dogs they can walk coming out oh, to the yeah. shelter. <laughs> there you go. So we'll have to get you out there to walk dogs as yes. well sometime soon and then yes. maybe you can start up that competition of who can get the most dogs out and, and we can get all of those dogs out oh, one yeah. day. That would be nice. Now the, with the Chamber Diplomat Program they're, so the, do they have um, young people from the whole area in there? So Silicaga mm -hmm. and Fayetteville and... Mm -hmm. um, I know for a fact there's I think like six or seven of us from Fayetteville. Okay. And there's probably like five from Silicaga and okay. I think two from Comer. So there's a good mix of everyone. Great. And that is a good way to meet other young people in the community yeah. and see um, what's going on around yeah. uh, you know, around the town because the chamber does so much for the town oh, yeah. that you can see different different things where you can help in the future. Yeah, I didn't realize how much they did until I actually got involved and I was like, wow, yeah, <laughs> they uh, do a lot. <laughs> and, and they need help, just like uh, all yeah. the different organizations in town. For sure. And so what, and is there anything that you can think of that would help young people um, see the different things that they can do and get involved in different things. Like how did you decide to be a part of Key Club and uh, try the, the Chamber Diplomat program? Honestly, just talking to people who are older than me that mm -hmm. are um, graduated, like it provides so many opportunities for getting to know people and making connections, getting scholarships, and it's just a great way to get to know some people. Absolutely. And that really helped me because, I mean, going to college is expensive. You need to know some people, you need the scholarships and talking to people always helps. So. Absolutely, and coming on TV oh, yeah. can help you. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, with, you know, when you get done with high school, you know, what I would love to see in the community is, you know, of course we're Pet Connect, so I wanna see people working with animals oh, yeah. and helping out with the dogs and cats and the, the homeless dogs and cats population in the area. But at the same time, there's so many different things that you can do. So you're mm -hmm. finding things that you love through the chamber and through yeah. Key Club and the different avenues that you have at school to do that. Mm -hmm. And that's great. And I hope that young people like you, when you graduate, that you'll still do that for the community and maybe stick around this area. You, I can, hope so. you can be a pilot somewhere around here. That'd and, be nice, <laughs> staying involved. Absolutely. That, that's how a community stays together and how the community gets support. So mm -hmm. we appreciate everything that you're doing through the clubs at school. and. Um, and, and hope that you continue to do that and 
I hope that we see you out there walking dogs. Oh, yeah. I, I think so, I, I think we will. Oh yeah, for <laughs> <You'll>, sure. Because <laughs> we, we do need some help walking those dogs. And you know, just like Kat said, there's so much that you can do for the community. And you know, find that thing that you love. You know, whether it is walking dogs or volunteering through Feral Dogs of Avondale and the animal shelter in some way, or if it's you know through the beautification council or the chamber. There, there's so many things that that we all can do to help the community, and that that's what we need right now. And um, you know, we can have people like Kat out there doing it. So we appreciate you coming on the show today. Well, thank we you. enjoy talking to you. Yes. And you know, don't forget that we are going to be walking dogs again this Saturday at the animal shelter. That'll be at 11 o'clock. And um, if you do want to do that, please message me on Facebook or you can call my office at Broadway Spinal Care. That way we'll know the numbers that are going to be there and we can be prepared for the people that are there. We had about 10 people walking last Saturday and that was a, that was a great number of people. It's, um, it's a lot of juggling dogs around the shelter, but it was a lot of fun. We, we all enjoyed it quite a bit. And don't forget that we have the spay and neuter voucher sale coming up. There's the information right there on the screen. Make sure you come to Pet Sense on Saturday. And while you're there, also take a look at the cats. We talked about dogs today so much that don't forget we have cats at the shelter and cats at Pet Sense and cats at Cardin's Gift Cottage that are available for adoption. So um, think about adopting a pet this time of year. And make sure you join us next week. We'll have Hayden Hughes from The Lily. She's the owner of The Lily in downtown on Broadway. We'll be talking to her next week. So thank you for joining us and we'll see you next week.